Welcome back to Travel Show Live. I'm Eric Hastings. I'll tell you, uh, just when I thought, you know, we had a great program. I thought it was great. I was about ready to go downstairs to Kennedy's and have a cocktail. Then, Ooh. Mary White is here. <laughs> Thank goodness you've come back. You know, you've been on our program a number of times on the radio show, and now you're on Travel Show Live. The, the, this is exciting. Bit. Thank is it, you. Isn't it, it exciting? Is. It is. Oh, I love it. All right, so first of all, let's go with the name of the book. That's the first thing we need to talk about. I recently wrote Running a Bed and Breakfast for Dummies, which yeah. is part of the uh, Wiley Publishing, the Dummies series, the famous yellow and black books. Yep. Um, and it's a very good how-to for people who have ever dreamed of owning a bed and breakfast, aspiring innkeepers who are really in the process of looking into it, and also many chapters for innkeepers that are already veteran innkeepers just to kind of take things to the next level and things to think about. All right, and, and you would be the perfect person then also to do, is it called bnbfinder.com, is that right? Yes, that's my baby, Did that's my right? website. Okay, I'll make sure I got it right. Tell us a little bit about the site. Well, bnbfinder.com is a great place to find a bed and breakfast. Whether you're a seasoned bed and breakfast traveler who loves bed and breakfast and understands the uniqueness of that type of lodging, or whether you're someone who's just a little bit curious about what a bed and breakfast is, maybe you've heard some myths and some, some old stereotypes and you're, you're not even sure curious, it's right for yeah, you, yeah. Uh -huh. B&B Curious would be a great way to put it. B&B Finder is a combination of a guidebook and a search engine online. Hmm. So it allows you to put in what you're looking for, just the way if you went to Google and you were searching, but if you went to Google and you just said Hyde Park Bed and Breakfast, it would list the uh, bed and breakfast in the inns in Hyde Park. Hmm. But it wouldn't tell you anything about them, you wouldn't see pictures. Let's say though you're looking for a romantic getaway and you want to have a jacuzzi or a hot tub in the room and maybe a fireplace in the room at a Hyde Park bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. So on a site like B&B Finder, that's the type of thing that you would put in there. We would then do the sorting like a search engine would, and we would then display the results much the way a guidebook would with mm. pictures, information, pricing, and obviously contact information. How long has the site been around? The site's been around over 11 years, mm -hmm. visited by millions of people every year, mm -hmm. um, and growing constantly. We're international. Uh, our biggest strength is in the United States, sure. North America. Uh, but we list thousands of inns, and every inn is different, which is what's so great, and why someone who's never stayed at a bed and breakfast, it's at least worth kind of virtually vacationing on a site like B&B Finder to see if it might be something different. Yeah, that's a good point, because there is, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of proposition when it comes to B&Bs, right? Definitely not, and especially in this economy, people are looking for value and they're looking for a little bit something different and maybe they're not taking a really long vacation or they're not flying to Hawaii or taking a long cruise um, but they or maybe they miss doing that this summer because they were concerned about their job or whatever mm -hmm. it is but they still want to get away mm -hmm. you can go away in fact just two weeks ago I went away and I left Thursday uh, Tuesday evening and I came back to work probably by 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning I took my daughter up to the Hudson Valley which is why I mentioned Hyde Park oh, I love that you know I love it she I promised her a tour of the Culinary Institute we stayed at a bed and breakfast I came back and for two days I was talking about the great weekend I just had uh -huh. because you really take yourself out of reality when you go to a bed and breakfast That's and you know relaxing with the wireless internet in this beautiful room, um, the common area, delicious coffee, your feet are up, the breakfast was to die for, baked stuff, French toast, some kind of stewed pr uh, uh, plums, I mean mm -hmm. it was just fabulous wow. and I felt like I'd gone away for the weekend and I wasn't even gone 24 hours. So that's where, you, and you know, came with the internet, um, you know, everything was there. So there's a lot of value in it as well as a different experience. Does it make a difference if the owner is actually there or not there? Because I, I suppose, statistically speaking, it's what is it, like 70% are on property? So you, generally speaking, will find the owner will be there running the inn, right? Most, most inns would have the owner on site and mm -hmm. most innkeepers are professionals. They're not people that are just renting out a room because their son or daughter has gone off to college or because okay. they're retired and they're, they're bored and they're lonely. These are people that have left corporate America, they're graduates of the Culinary Institute, they've come from marketing, they've come from IT, all different professions. So they understand what it is to want to get away. Mm -hmm. And they can kind of quickly zone in and say, is Eric somebody that really wants to talk? Does he really want a lot of tips from me? Mm -hmm. Or is he somebody who wants just you know, to know the basics and to have his kind of his space? And the book actually talks a lot about that, about what makes a good innkeeper. Oh. Um, and you find out a lot about that when you, a lot of times, although you can book your reservations online and find your uh, bed and breakfast online, but oftentimes you'll call the innkeeper because you'll have a last minute question. And unlike calling a hotel, 
um, you're speaking with this person so you can kind of get a feel for what they're like as well. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. All right, how about the, the, the criteria when we're calling? I mean, let's, let's narrow it down to a couple of questions that we might want to ask a place that you've never been before. The, on the telephone, we look at a place, it looks good online, we went to you know, B&B and say, oh, that looks nice, we looked at the pictures, we called to ask a couple of questions, what would you ask? Well, what I would ask might be different than what you would ask, um, because I don't have young children, my kids are teenagers, so mm -hmm. if I was traveling with young children, I would ask if it was appropriate for children. Um, I don't particularly have any dietary restrictions. I might ask about dietary restrictions, or I would tell the innkeeper about that. Mm -hmm. A lot of it, though, is answered on websites like B&B &B Finder because you've, we've already sorted out what's the best accommodation because you've put in what's important. Mm -hmm. Also, innkeepers, they want to make sure you have a good time. So really, they're going to ask you kind of the key questions in terms okay. of why are you visiting the area. That's usually part of the reservation uh, process. Okay. If you're celebrating an anniversary versus if you're there on business. They want to know that because they will then tailor your uh, stay to that. They'll also make suggestions for you that would really, it's kind of like having a concierge. So oh. they're going to ask you a lot of the questions, usually about why you're visiting the area, dietary restrictions, things like that. All right. Very good. Mary, thank you so much for thank coming you. and doing this. Will you come back and see us? I will always come back. Thank you. you. Know, Mary, I just, and, you, and your office is in my neighborhood. That's right. Welcome so to the neighborhood new, neighbor. My, yeah, my new neighbor. All right. Very good. Thank you, dear. <laughs> thank you. All right. Very good. It's bnbfinder.com. Oh, Bob Diener's coming up with, I, I love to have Bob on the show because I get to say, hey, go get a room. Yeah, that's what I say to him. Ah. That's what I say to him. Get a room. I don't even think that's the name of his site. But I think, anyway, Bob's coming up in a matter of seconds. Stay with us. <laughs>